You're watching the 2024 15th Region Championship live on the Mountain's number one source for sporting news, the D&D Sports Network. Tonight's matchup, McGolfin County versus Martin County. Game sponsors are State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crum Funeral Home, City of Coal Run, Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott, Hot Rods Pizza, Matt Hager Law, Hilton Homes of Ival, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Love Homes, Punks Tires, Hall and Jones Funeral Home, Pike County District Judge Robbie Wright, Sayersville Funeral Home, Tommy Maynard Auto Sales, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Man Toyota, Man, what a deal. Howard Family Pharmacy. Corey Conley at Conley Brothers Giovanni's and Convenient Drug. J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carports. Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law. 606 Hint. Corey Hayes at Hayes Training System. Pike County Jailer Brian Morris. Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic. Kirk Law Firm. Custom Print and Design, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, Personal Injury Attorney, Ray Jones, Sloan Chiropractic in Sayersville. Enjoy the tournament, folks. Everybody, we are live here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. All week long, it has come down to this moment. 15th Region Championship live right here on the D&D Sports Network with Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy on the call. And this place is loud, folks. Daryl McCoy, it is absolutely electric to hear Martin County erupting when they heard their school name called. It is electric. They were standing outside an hour beforehand. Oh yeah, d, &D Sports Network. We were snooping around Thomas Rainey, getting the lowdown, finding out who everybody thought was gonna cut the nets down. It is crazy. It is Bonco's in here, Thomas Let Rainey. me tell you what, I didn't know if I was gonna find a place to park. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought, well, I'll get there you know, an hour ahead of time. I'll be okay. Gee, I had to park over at the old movie theater. <laughs> uh, listen, this tonight may be the most packed we've seen this arena in a long time for a 15th region tournament game because you have two communities that absolutely showed out in the semifinals. For the, go ahead, Thomas. Well, you think back for McGoffin County since 1996. 1996 they've waited on this Daryl McCoy. They've not been here since then. And, and Thomas, you're exactly right. McGoffin County hungry for a 15th region championship. It's not just here. You're talking about the fans that no longer live in Eastern Kentucky. They've wrote, they've dialed into the D&D Sports Network and said, guys, are you are you covering it? We, we can't make it in, but we want to check it out. We're cheering for the Hornets. And you know the D&D Sports Network was going to be here start to finish. Daryl McCoy, we were at uh, the Texas Roadhouse earlier. We were getting everybody's feedback. It's kind of 50-50 who they believe is going to cut down the nets. And then Martin County's got everything to prove, Daryl. 
They're yeah. the champs. Uh, all the weight's on their shoulders. You That's know, it. McGoffin County's playing with house money. Well, think about it. What's it? What Rick Flair say? To be the man, you got to beat the man. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're the man. Martin County's the man right now. Right. And they, somebody's got to knock them off. They absolutely are. And uh, we're sitting here, guys. You're watching the J.I. Fab pregame show here. You see both teams warming up out there. And uh, that young man right there, we spoke to him after the game the other day, Coach. Aiden Barnett has been on a mission since his season started. The point total for Aiden Barnett keeps climbing. He's inching closer to that top three in the state scoring. He's dropping 30 every single night in postseason action. He put on a show the other night, and he's going to need to again if he's going to. And, yeah, they're the underdogs. They've lost three straight. They're going to need every bit of Aiden Barnett's point production if they plan on knocking off Martin County. Guys, we are sitting here. We want to thank a couple sponsors that jumped on board today. We want to thank Carla Booth and On Point Ballers. If you want your kid or a loved one to be the best at their craft, send them to On Point Ballers and Carla Booth. She has locations all throughout the 14th and 15th region. And we also want to thank our good friend, Bailey's Hardware and Bailey's Carpet out of Sayersville. They've been a longtime sponsor with us out of Sayersville. Want to thank them for come, reaching out, supporting these athletes as they knew what kind of big stage this was. And they said, listen, we've got to support our Hornets since D&D's there. They said, you guys have been as good as gold. Said, we're going to make sure that we're on there. So they called today, got on late. Want to thank them two sponsors. Thomas, we'll take our first commercial break when we come back. We got, as Thomas the Maestro's fun facts he always has, brought to you by Bailey's Carpet and Hardware. So come right back and join us here after a word from our sponsors. With tax season coming up, make the smart decision with your money. Stop at Tommy's Auto Sales in Inez, Kentucky. Right now you can get cars, trucks, and SUVs at the best prices around. Tommy's Auto Sales is a proud supporter of the Martin County Cardinals and all mountain athletes. I'm Ashley Tackett Lafferty, and for the last four years, I've worked hard to deliver millions of dollars in funding for Floyd and Pike counties. I've fought hard as your representative to bring good jobs back to our prison and wheelwright, to finally complete the 680 connector between Minnie and Harold, and to four-lane the Mountain Parkway through Prestonsburg. My voting record in Frankfurt proves that you can count on me to defend our traditional mountain values and protect our working families in Eastern Kentucky. I care about the future of our families and I'll never quit on Eastern Kentucky. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Smoking Hot Vape Shop in Inez, Kentucky carries a wide selection of disposable vapes, juice, mods, batteries, and accessories, as well as a great selection of Delta products. Smoking Hot guarantees authenticity of products and allows you to try before you buy on disposable products using a sanitary test tip. Open seven days a week. Stop in and check them out. Find them on Facebook or visit their website, SmokingHotKY.com, for complete hours. Up by and see your friends at the end of route. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, come on down to Man Toyota in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Right now, you can get 4.99% financing for 60 months on Camrys, Corollas, Tacomas, Tundras, RAV4s, Highlanders, and new 2024s. That's Man Toyota. Man, what a deal. All right, Darryl McCoy, we are back here live, getting ready for some basketball action. We absolutely live here with 14 minutes to go here before we get started. And as we promised, guys, Bailey's Carpet and Hardware has brought you some fun tidbits here that the Maestro always brings, the Maestro's fun facts. Let's see what they are. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. You again more often than you think. This is the 19th time, Coach, in, re in regional tournament play that the district foes have matched off against each other. The last time was all the way back to 2011 when Shelby Valley took on Pikeville. 
winner versus 14th region. Remember, we had the 14th, 15th region challenge. We didn't know that they was going to draw each other to play in the state tournament. So the winner of this game will face the winner of Breathitt or Perry on Wednesday, uh, March 20th at 11 a.m. 15th region, 15, 15th region redo. McGolfin would be the first district runner up if they win tonight to win the 15th region since back in 2015 when Johnson Central did it. And here you go, for the first time in 14 years, the championship game has not had Pikeville or Johnson Central in it. Think about that. That is crazy. All the way back to 2010 when Shelby Valley took on Betsy Lane. Think about how a 14 years run it's been either a Pikeville or Johnson Central team in the championship game. Oh my, Thomas Rainey dominance and very dominant between two teams over the course of uh, what, a decade or longer, Thomas Rainey. We're digging deep to find those facts. Digging, digging deep in the facts, Daryl McCoy. Oh, yeah. Bro, uh, I mean, always bringing the facts, and here you go. And a little, uh, a couple to add on to that. And uh, let's see, in 1942, Belfry won the 57th district over Dorton. Said Dorton won the region in 1942. Said same thing happened in 1984 with Johnson Central beating McGolfin in the region after uh, falling in the 57th district final. What, so what year was that? That was 1984. Oh, don't even mention that around the McGolfin County fan. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, you know, my, my daughter, is my sister-in-law is married to him, the, one of the players, one of the key players off that team. That, you, that's taboo there. You don't oh, mention that. That's, that, that's bad yeah. times. <laughs> well, Thomas Rennie, Daryl McCoy, I've got a uh, challenge out for all the fans of the D&D Sports Network. We're about 10 minutes away from tip-off. And, oh, yeah, we're the Working Man's Sports Network. But I challenge you guys to share this, like this broadcast, and let them know the D&D Sports Network is home, the number one sports network outlet covering the 15th Region Tournament. Let's get this number up to 2,000 strong watching this game live via the DND Sports Network. This is it, absolutely. You go to the Southside Buildings and Carport comment section here. Uh, Regina Spence says, let's go cards. Greta Gibson says, all the way cards. HR Block says, let's go Sheldon Clark. Still saying Sheldon Clark there. Uh, (laughs) Barb Dolls is tuning in. Super fan, DND super fan. Barb Dolls, appreciate you. Hope you get better, Barb. We're praying for you. Barry Priest says, thank you again, DND. Go cards. Uh, Tracy Halderby says, uh, Kennedy, Tegan, Hoskins, I don't know what uh, she's going on about. And then Tina Hogg says, let's go Hornets. That's what I'm saying. We see a lot of card fans. Let's see where you're at, McGoffin County fans, as guys want to uh, thank our gracious sponsors that made tonight's po- game possible. State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crumb Funeral Home, City of Co Run, Rodney Scott, Pike County Sheriff, Hot Rods Pizza, Matt Hager Law, Hilton Homes of Ival, Love Homes, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Bailey's Hardware and Carpet, On Point Ballers, Punks Tires, Hall and Jones Funeral Home, Pike County Judge Robbie Wright, Sayersville Funeral Home, Tommy Maynard Auto Sales, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Man Toyota, Howard Family Pharmacy, Corey Conley at Convenient Drug, J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carports, Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law, 606 Hemp, Corey Hayes at Hayes Training System, Pike County Jailer, Brian Morris, Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic, Kirk Law Firm, Custom Print and Design, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, Personal Injury Lawyer, Ray Jones, and Sloan Chiropractic. Guys, that wraps up them as you're here at the J.I. Fab pregame show. Now, let me ask you this, you know, guys, uh, Thomas Coach bailed out on us last time. Predictions for tonight's game. Oh, my goodness, Daryl McCoy. You want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. I'm going to... I'm going to go with Martin County. I, I, I think that, you know, as you said, to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. And, you know, it's uh, they beat them three times already this year. Now, normally I will pick against that because they're due for one. But when you take a look 
at the magical run. And you see in them numbers, you know, this is the first time in 14 years that Johnson Central or Pikeville hasn't been in the finals. That tells me that there are certain programs that always win, just like it is in the pros, just like it is in college. You always got your top runners. McGoffin County, this Aiden Barnett, this is he's had such a magical year, and that kid is on a mission. If anybody can do it, it can be McGoffin County because of the defense that their guards have. But, you know, coming in, I think you'd be mistaken if you didn't say Mark County. I, I'm, I'm going opposite just for what you said. Oh. It's hard to beat a team four times. I'm going to go, and it's not like none of those games have been blowouts. It's been a 10-point game at max between all three games. I think I think McGoffin County sneaks it out. It'll be a barn burner. If anybody could, McGoffin County knows how hard it is because they beat Johnson Central four times. Exactly. Guys, we'll take a quick break. Save Coach Keithley from the bell. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. If you're looking for a small-town pharmacy that will treat you like family from the second you walk in the door, come see us at Convenient Drug. Convenient Drug in Sagersville, Kentucky, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. We look forward to seeing you. I'm Ashley Tackett Lafferty, and for the last four years, I've worked hard to deliver millions of dollars in funding for Floyd and Pike counties. I've fought hard as your representative to bring good jobs back to our prison and wheelwright, to finally complete the 680 connector between Minnie and Harold, and to four lane the Mountain Parkway through Prestonsburg. My voting record in Frankfurt proves that you can count on me to defend our traditional mountain values and protect our working families in Eastern Kentucky. I care about the future of our families and I'll never quit on Eastern Kentucky. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. All right, we are back here. Darren McCormick, I'll throw one more fun fact at you before we get to the key players. Last week, Monday through Saturday, 171,000 people tuned in on the d, &D Sports Network, showing why we're the number one sports coverage in the mountains. Counting the West Virginia games for the week, over 200,000 people watched. So, Coach Casey said it best. We got a running clock on the competition. There tonight. you go. Exactly right. Exactly right. So, let's take a look at the key players real quick in tonight's matchup. Tonight's matchup McGolfin County versus Martin County. Key players to watch Martin County guard Aiden Barnett. Martin County sharpshooter. Cool hand, Luke Hill. All right, we are back. Yeah, you're continuing the J.I. Fab pregame show here, guys, as you've seen the key players, Cool Hand Luke Hill and Aiden Barnett. Guys, two superstars, but that don't tell the entire story. Thomas, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. 
All right, here we go, the tail of the tape. When you got a matchup this big, Coach, it's like a fight. Big time. You know, it's a fight. Here we go. First, the visitors on the scoreboard. The runners up in the 57th district will be the McGoffin County Hornets. 20 and 13 on the season, led by head coach Scott Castle. Averaging 68 points a game, giving up 64. We've said it all week, Aiden Barnett, 29.3 points a game, leading the region, top what? Top five in the state. Top five in the state. They rebound the ball pretty well at 28 a game. Zane Whitaker leads the way just under eight there. They shoot 50% from the field, 33% from behind the arc, and 75% from the foul line. Now for the defending 15th region champs and the 57th district champs, the Martin County Cardinals. Record 23 and nine on the season, led by head coach J.J. James J James J Jason James. I'll get yep. it out in a minute. 70, almost 72 points a game, giving up 69, and this place is loud. Luke Hale, cool hand, Luke Hale. That is the U. 23.3 points a game, 29 and a half boards, led by Mr. Sturgill himself at 7.4. 47% from the floor, 34.5% behind the arc, and always, as a good as a championship team is, 72% from the line. Look at both these teams, great free throw shooting teams. That's what it's gonna take down the stretch. They're both very well matched, and Thomas going into this game, Martin County won three times this year over McGoffin County. Exactly. Last time was in the 57th District Final on February 29th which was the biggest win of the year for Martin County, 83-73. The other games has been four and six points respectively. Close close outings, Thomas Rainey, and you got two of the top five scorers in the uh, 15th region, Aiden Barnett, number one, and Luke Hale, number four in the region, elite scoring, uh, Daryl McCoy. Yeah, that, as, as you sit here and look, guys, we already got over 500 people tuning in for this one. The uh, as the uh, as you sit here and guys, you see the cheerleaders. I can't help it. This place is loud. Over 500 people tuning in. There's Tommy Maynard, the Tommy Maynard Auto Player of the Game. Want to thank him. Make sure you stick around after that. Robbie Wright, Pike County District Judge, will be sponsoring the scoreboard at the bottom of your screen. Also, guys, the pregame show is J.I. Fab pregame show. Comment section, Southside Billy's Carport comment section. All right. All right, let's go quickly, Coach. I sat down for hey. some of the keys to the game. This is what I thought. Let's look at this and see if you agree with me. Supporting cast, who shines brighter? We know Aiden Barnett's going to get his. We know Luke Hale's going to get his. Who is the supporting cast that steps up on the biggest stage of the year that's going to make the difference? That my other fact was experience. Martin County's been here. That been here, done that, right? They've got the T-shirt to prove it. Is that going to be the difference? And as always, when you got two teams this balanced, it's limit turnovers. I, I agree, Thomas Rainey. Supporting cast going to be huge in this one. Who shows up and shines the brightest on the biggest stage? And if you see, they're playing for that big trophy in the corner. So. There you go, Bruce Waters Ford's keys to the game. What we're gonna do tonight, we're gonna show you the non-starters first, and then we're gonna show you D and D style for the starting lineup. There we go. Noah Sammons. Coach, I don't have the roster in front of me. You'll have to. Montgomery. Parker Bowling. Noah Gibson. Tate Hall. Troy Salyers. Garrett Jenkins. Ian McCarty. Trey Rudd. Perkins. Devin Barnett and Matthew Hall. And Matthew Hall. They've got several dressed. It's not on the active roster, Daryl McCoy. Right. Right. 
the non-starters for the Martin County. And that will go non-starters for Martin County. Brandon Estep. Brandon Estep. Brandon Estep. That's Mills. Eli Mills. Blake Maynard. Braxton Maynard. Number five. Alan Moore, number five. B.J. Parsley. B.J. Parsley. Dre Duff. Dre Duff. Now we'll go into the starting lineups. First for McGoffin County, then right into Martin County. Here we go. Yes. Appalachian Wireless Arena, that was your Bruce Walters starting lineup. McGoffin County coached by Scott Castle. Uh, Martin County is coached by Jason James. Guys, Gary Helton says, sure hope Coach Castle has informed the team how few times these opportunities come along and to not take this for granted. HR Block says, start strong cards. Timothy Lockin says, Thomas Rainey sounding good. Uh, brother, let's go Hornets. And then we see John Howard says, Thomas is the smart man. <laughs> and uh, we got Glenda Gerald watching from Dana. Here we go, get ready to tip I'm ready. Off. I tell you what, I'm ready to jump up and <laughs> run through a tunnel or something, Coach. I, what about you? Ready to go. There we go. You got Braden McKenzie and Whitaker, Zane Whitaker, jumping things off. We checked all the cameras one last time. We're good to go. There's Sturgill going to control the tip for the cards. McAuliffe County straight man to man. Yep, Sturgill hands off out top. Maynard over Ooh. the Yeah, Sturgill thought about it. That's going to be a neat matchup to watch out top, Coach. Will Sturgill or Whitaker win that battle? And again, as you mentioned, Sturgill's going to step out, step in. Nice drive. Oh, right at the basket. Braden McKenzie with an M1 right off the bat. I like to set right out of the jump. They tried to get McKenzie or Hale the basketball, and uh, McKenzie ends up with a nice straight line drive. Thomas Rainey said, you guys cannot get this up to 2,000 tonight. Hit that lock and share button. Get these numbers up. All right, pressure from Martin County. It's interesting, Zane Whitaker bringing them all up the floor, Coach, playing point forward for them now. Absolutely. Zane Whitaker have himself a postseason. Pull up, elbow jumper. Sinks to it. Big bucket by Zane Whitaker. And again, Peyton Davis inserted into that starting lineup for Martin County. 
you number think 11. He's in there for one reason, and I'd say that's the guard, Aiden Barnett. What yep. do you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and, you know, Miss, Mr. Logo Bryson Dahl's done a good job when he was in the lineup, you know, and I expect him to be a big spark off the bench. Hell, throws it away. Out of yeah. on all passes. Yep. Coach always says it. The uh, – all right, Martin County going to apply heavy pressure here. Going to try to take away Barnett. Going to try no. to take away. Look here, Devin Maynard's on Barnett. Yeah, it'll be interesting hit putting the taller, stronger defender on him. And Barnett going to the line. He's going to shoot two. He shoots 82% on the year, Thomas. Two. We hear the chant, you can't do that. <laughs> These cheering sections, man, are insane. I'm telling you, folks, if you're not here, we hope we do a good job bringing you the atmosphere because it puts chills up my up and down my arm seeing the way both communities are represented here tonight. That's what we try to do, Daryl. We try to bring the emotion and energy to your living room. That's it. Barnett sings that one. We say it all the time. We're not your grandparents' no. radio station. No. no. Timmy Copley says, thank you, D&D, for covering this. And Brown Travi says, here's a great game. It's McGoffin's final. Straight line drive, Sturgill, nowhere to go with it. Smart decision by Peyton Davis, bringing it back out, setting it up. McKenzie, can't get it to go. Barnett with the rebound. Uh -huh. On the attack, Darrell. Yeah, nice drive, Barnett. Got blocked at the rim. Here comes Sturgill back the other way. Sturgill kicks to the corner. Davis for three, sinks it! Peyton Davis. Bearing it from deep. Wow. Yeah. You got Salyers picked up by McKenzie out top. Maynard face guard Nathan Barnett. That's his one absolute, we want you to do one thing. Absolutely lock down Aiden Barnett. Oh, pull up for three. Barnett off the mark. Coach, that, that's not uh, his normal game there. No, he's not a pull up guy. No. There goes Sturgill downhill. Nice take. Blocked at the rim. Blocked by the rim. Here comes Barnett up to Whitaker. Over to Russell. Walker Russell. Got it to go. Yeah. Coach uh, Walker Russell, a super sophomore. Play tremendous in that Johnson Central game. Yeah. Could be a freshman. I can't remember if he's a freshman or sophomore. 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 Yeah, sophomore. Almost coming away with it. McGolfin County, Grayson Whitaker. Stephen Marshall Burke says, go Cards. We see Shannon Van Hoos says, go Hornets. Sukat Lester says, jam packed. <laughs> well, you know it's a party win Sukat's in the there house. There you go. There's two people we can count on. Sukat <laughs> and Catbird. That's it. Nice oh, look beautiful hell. look. Davis. Yeah, off the mark. Barnett with the second rebound. Nice take out to Zane Whitaker. Zane Whitaker working on Sturgill. Nice drive. Beautiful drive, couldn't convert. Davis with the rebound. Davis head up over to McKenzie. Had it stripped. Active hands by Zane Whitaker. Nice look by Barnett. Yeah. Walker Russell misses the baby hook. Chases down his own rebound. Back out. Now Barnett yep. picked up by Luke Hill. Gonna reset. Look at this matchup out top. Barnett drives right by, gets the easy lay in. Nice take. Both teams a little anxious early on the offensive end, Darrell. You can tell nerves a factor early. 8-6 lead right now. Next dead ball will be the media timeout. Yep. We need it just like you folks do. We're <laughs> pumped up. I'm a nervous wreck. Oh, I'm stoked. <laughs> this place is electric right now. Maynard. Off the mark. Brady McKenzie goes up with it. Gets the bucket. We're tied up eight all here. Brady McKenzie with five early points. Salyer, he's had a tremendous postseason. He has defensively, Coach. He, he has really earned a lot of respect over and back. He did. He stepped yeah, on the he line. He did. So that's going to take us to the media timeout. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. You're watching the D&D &D Sports Network. 
Southside Buildings and Carports and Southside Shed Hunters of Louisa, Kentucky offers shed hauling services up to 16 by 52 long buildings. We also have lofted cabins, utility cabins, garages, man caves, she sheds that you can customize and order to your wants and needs with many different options such as workbenches, shelving, transom windows, and much more. You can go to the location or buy using 3D Builder's online order system. You can build right from your own home. We offer metal garages and carports that are built to any size and installed right on your property. For more info, call 304-928-0060 or 304-928-0062. Here at Southside Buildings and Carports, we've got you covered. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, come on down to Man Toyota in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Right now, you can get 4.99% financing for 60 months on Camrys, Corollas, Tacomas, Tundras, RAV4s, Highlanders, and new 2024s. That's Man Toyota. Man, what a deal. There you see the Martin County pep section. Look at them, I tell you what, they're loud and proud. As you see them over here, the Cardinal getting them up there. That's the Cardinals. Yeah. Now let's go over and check out McGoffin County in the fan cam. Matt Hager fan cam, guys. Matt Hager once again sponsoring the fan cam. And I tell you, this McGoffin County fan section has been loud and proud Boy, all week long. Great close-up there of Aiden Barnett. Tell you what, nobody does it like D&D. Look at that coverage, people. I'm telling you, these guys are on it. Martin County ball out of the timeout here. Again, Peyton Davis reinserting in that starting lineup tonight. Defense, defense, defense. Start, Sturgill, he yeah. knocked that down. And he does, he gets the row. Hit, hit that like and share, folks. Come on, we got to get this over a thousand. Yeah, let us know where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. The Maestro said you guys can't get this to two thousand. Looked like Martin County was in a one-three-one half court, three-quarter court. Fade away, good by Barnett, Coach. I'm telling you, man. Uh, you know, matter of fact, we was talking about Barnett and uh, playing at the next level. Coach, the other night, I had a college coach message me and spoke to me for about 20 minutes after the ball game about Barnett. Yeah. He has next level scoring ability. Yeah. Might have traveled with it. And they did. We're knotted up 10 all. Big turnover there from Golfing County. Already 270 comments. Come on, wow. we like to talk to you. Watch this one, three, one. It, it looks up here. It, what, right, Thomas? One, yep, three, one, that's three, quarter, exactly. Court. Nice look. Wide open, Zane Whitaker. 12 10, McGoffin lead. Tomed Sword says he's watching from Lexington. Baby T says game of the year. Go cards. Sturgill running that point forward. Wide open, McKenzie got it. Knocked it down. You can't live McKenzie open like that, Daryl McCoy. You can't, you know, and, and listen, that's a kid, coach, you turn your head, he'll rattle the rim too. Exactly. He missed a put back up here that would have brought the <laughs> house down the other night. And kick it out. Back out to Salyers, guarded by Hill. Got, got. Walker Russell in that deep corner. Barnett in the middle. This is where he's really good. Coach, how about that? What a step That's back. Sweet, man. Step back mid-range is this game. Listen, Coach, and I mean this with everything in me, Barnett's not one of them players that you can stop. You right. can only hope to contain him. Right. Sturgill, pretty tough to guard as well, Daryl. Oh, yeah, he's a mismatch nightmare. His size and what he's able to do, that's why Martin County is what Martin County is. Oh, he yep. turned it over. Davis kicks it up court. Hell, back out, hit the trailer. Hell. Good position on the rebound. Whitaker over to Barnett. 
Guys, if you're in Salesville right now, do us a favor. Call Johnny B's Pizza and order a pizza for this great matchup. One of our proud sponsors from the Salesville area. You got Russell working that backside. Oh, fans wanted to travel. The Cardinal sure wanted it. He's jumping up and down <laughs> over here. He lost control of it, and I think the official said, you know, he, he was bobbling it, so that wasn't a travel. We've already had 1,100 viewing in the first quarter. 2,000 strong coming. You better believe it. Our personal record, Darrell McCoy, is 1,900. Oh, wow. So we want 2,000. That's yeah. it. Let's break some records tonight. There goes Barnett. Step back. Nice job getting rid of the defender. Sweets it. Oh, my. Aiden Barnett with 10 first quarter points as they head into the second quarter. McGoffin County takes the 16-15 lead. We'll be right back. Second quarter action live on the D&D Sports Network. Let's break some records tonight. There goes Barnett. Step back. Nice job getting rid of the defender. Sweets it. Oh, my. Aiden Barnett with Smoking Hot Vape Shop in Inez, Kentucky carries a wide selection of disposable vapes, juice, mods, batteries, and accessories, as well as a great selection of Delta products. Smoking Hot guarantees authenticity of products and allows you to try before you buy on disposable products using a sanitary test tip. Open seven days a week. Stop in and check them out. Find them on Facebook or visit their website, smokinghotky.com, for complete hours. Stop by and see your friends at the end of Route 3. Eastern Kentucky understands the importance of taking care of one another. That's why after graduation, I came home. 25 years later, I've put together a team at Glen Martin Hammond Law Offices dedicated to fighting for your legal rights. When you're dealing with a sensitive legal issue, you want someone who will take care of you as a person, not just another case. Our team will help you through the legal process of Social Security, personal injury, work injury, car wrecks, wrongful death, medical malpractice, and nursing home neglect. Call us today. There you see the Matt Hager fan cam. We're back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy on the call as you see Walker Russell coming off the screen. Back door to Barnett. What a play, Coach Barnett. Going back door for an easy deuce. Nice movement without the basketball. Barnett now has 12. McKenzie. Coach, defending chips, Martin County Cardinals, but you know, a lot of people. Nice. Oh, nice job, nice take. Hung up there. Couldn't, couldn't convert. You know, a lot of people wants to uh, see that storyline play out. What a story it would be to see McGoffin County at Rupp Arena. Long oh. on it. Mm -hmm. Long time, Daryl McCoy. When's the last time McGoffin County's won a region? Was it 90? No, 90, 96 last time he was in the championship. Oh, sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, somebody let us know. I know Will. one of our fans know. And then Martin County again Look trying at, for back-to-back -back here. And Coach uh, James Third region mm. title. Yeah. And, and what a story it would be for them because of what adversity they've been through, Coach. Lo losing their principal, losing a couple uh, people right. around the program, exactly. losing Stephanie Styles May. I mean, this community's been through so, lot, so much this year. So no matter what, it's going to be a great storyline. Well, here we go. Right. Here comes the roar again. Yeah, there goes Sturgill. Kicks it out. Nice job, Martin County. Taking away dribble drives. Mm. And so far, they've done a really good job on Luke Hill. I love the patience, Coach. They're being very patient. Credit this McGoffin County defense. Sturgill getting downhill. Going to shoot two. Yeah. Guys. Jack uh, Parmeter says thanks to all the Hornet supporters. Big shout out to McGoffin County Funeral Home and all that supports the student athletes. Bardstown, Kentucky in the house. Bridget Harmon says. Uh, Anna Whitaker says Grayson Whitaker's Mimi tuning in from Florida. We got uh, watching from Daytona Beach. Gay Barr says. Guys, let's try to see if we can get all 50 states represented here too. They brought a crowd that McGoffin County has. Both schools had someone donate to get all the students in free. Pressure by Martin County here. That's the way it should be, Darren McCord. <laughs> Sue Cat Lester says, uh, start counting your chains. Thomas Rainey, rumor has it, you're buying ice cream cones for everybody. 
<laughs> Whoa, easy now. <laughs> Allen and up. Thanks, it. You better believe it. Ethan Salyer has been hot this postseason. Drains another one from deep. Nice job by Salyer on Hill. Foul on the floor. Yeah. Salyer has guarded his opponent's best player for the last four games. And the job that Salyer has done, unbelievable. That's, uh, Coach, uh, Ethan Salyer's, the respect that I've earned uh, for him over this postseason run defensively, I'm telling you, one of the best defenders we've seen since the district tournament. I've moved him up. He's a top five, six, seven defender in the mountains. I mean, at, at his position. I agree with you. I tell you what, Darren McCoy, the Cardinals tell him to get up and get loud. Uh, Peyton Davis, he'll knock that down. Sturger will in and out. That's Barnett's third rebound. The kid, Salyer again, in and out. Yeah, ripped down the rebound by Luke Hill. Here comes Hill on the move. There goes McKenzie, straight down the gut. Nice drive. Take and convert. Barnett. Coming yeah. away with another one, Daryl. Yeah. His fourth. That's that Hayes training system right there. That, you're exactly right. Corey Hayes all over that one. Hell, really good in the open court. Here he goes. Beats the defense up the floor. Can't convert. So far, Luke Hell's been held scoreless. Hell averaging better than 23 points per game on the year. Darrell, he's fourth in the region of scoring. No surprise there. And uh, so far, been held scoreless. Thomas, they're all saying if, if they hit 2,000, you're buying the ice cream. <laughs> Got to break a record. Let's go. Yeah. Nice jab step by Walker Russell, but Hale was having none of it. Yeah. Get the foul on Hale. Good job picking up the foul. Walker Russell trying to jab step his way, kind of LeBron in it, trying to create room. Look, Hale wasn't budging. You know what I like? They're letting them play. These but, officials are letting them go. Yes, sir. What is it, 14 fouls total so far? Yes, sir. There it is. Ah. There it is. Aiden Barnett. Wow. Jason James wants a timeout. As he takes one, we will too. We'll be right back on the d, &D Sports Network. They're letting them go. Yes, sir. What is it, 14 fouls total so far? Yes, sir. There it is. Ah. There it is. Aiden Barnett. I'm Dr. Alan Baldwin here at Maynard Chiropractic. Maynard Chiropractic has two locations at East Point on US 23 and in Paintsville on Rock City Plaza. So give us a call here at Maynard Chiropractic at 606-886-3737 and schedule your appointment with Better Health today. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. The Chip McGoffin County cheerleaders are out, so the Hornet turns his back. Yeah. And there's the band, the McGoffin County band, trying to get everybody fired up as well. I'm telling you, look at this McGoffin County spirit section, man. Coach, you got them towels swinging around like a helicopter. Uh, unbelievable turnout on the McGoffin County side. I'd say there's close to 2,000 McGoffin County fans here. Uh, and I would say at least that many Martin County. Oh, every bit of it. Guys, you're sitting here watching the D&D Sports Network coverage of the 2024 15th Region Championship. Right now, you're watching this second quarter sponsored by Bailey's Carpet and Hardware in Sayersville, Kentucky. McGoffin County leads Martin County 24-17. Oh, blocked at the rim, Coach. Zane Whitaker continues his block party that he started the other night. Met at the summit at the apex. He said no going. Coach, I, it, listen, it takes a real shot blocker to block Braden McKenzie. You better believe it. There goes Barnett. Again. Yeah. 17 points for Aiden Barnett. He is absolutely on fire here in the first half. Brings it out, Hell comes off the screen. Over to Maynard, Sturgill has it. Sturgill. And I don't think there's been a sub yet, has there? No. Does a Sturgill does such no, a trick. No, you're right. Does it's, 
Go ahead. It's mano y mano right, right now. Sergio does such a tremendous job calming the Cardinals down when they need it. You're exactly right. They need a bucket right now, Coach. Martin County's defense, their link on driving lanes and help defense, causing Martin some issues. Sturgill's going to dial, though. Off the mark. Walker Russell with the rebound. There it is, deep corner three. Got it. Sweet son, Grayson Whitaker. With McGuff a corner pocket three. McGoffin County all over Martin County early. 12 point lead. The Hornets getting it done. Nice drive. Yep, yeah, couldn't convert, left it short. I'm going to say this though Martin County's going to get these st shots to start falling because they're just a little off. There's Barnett back out. Swings it around to Zane Whitaker. Back over to Grayson Whitaker. Connie King watching from Wheeling, West Virginia. John Howard says you owe him an ice cream, Thomas, already. There you go, Salyers over to Whitaker. Martin doing a better job. He says give me the ball and watch out. And that deep three. Off the mark. Rebound. If that would have went in, this building would have erupted. Rebound by hell. Here comes Peyton Davis. Wow. Nice bucket there. Davis. Somehow. Yeah. Gets, ends the drought. Yeah, contorted his body. Was able to get that one to go. Yeah. Barnett up top, middle of the floor. Both fan bases on their feet here. Fast moving half, Thomas Rainey. Very little calls, right? Yeah. Stoppage of play. There goes Whitaker. Whitaker working. He kicks it back out. Salyers over to Russell. Off of Russell. There's that slick floor. Yeah. Nearly lost control. Barnett comes off the screen. Spins. Little shoot two. Yeah. Guys, Southside Buildings and Carport comment section's on fire. Brown Travi says, here in Lexington, I can feel the magic brewing. Want my Hornets down here with me. Uh, we got Stephen Markham watching from Connersville, Pennsylvania. Larry Flitzer says, watching from hometown Martin County in South Carolina, watching my hometown Martin County. Oh, Maynard got caught in the, in the nose. Got yeah. a timeout. Media timeout, we've not had that yet. Yeah, we'll take one with them. We'll be right back here on the D&D &D Sports Network. I'm attorney Ray Jones. Some law firm ads make it sound like getting injured is like winning the lottery, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Being injured is a nightmare. It's not about winning free money. It's about getting your life back and restitution for what's been taken from you. We will handle your case personally from start to finish with a commitment to get you every penny you're owed. When you're injured, it's about surviving and getting back what's been taken from you. Get every penny you're owed. Call me anytime for a free consultation. When it comes to burying a loved one, you need to make sure that they're left in the right hands. That's why you need to call Crumb Funeral Home. Located in Inez, Kentucky. You can give them a call today at 606-298-0602. Located on 498 Kentucky Route 3 North in Inez, Kentucky. Give them a call today. Crumb Funeral Home. With tax season coming up, make the smart decision with your money. Stop at Tommy's Auto Sales in Inez, Kentucky. Right now, you can get cars, trucks, and SUVs at the best prices around. Tommy's Auto Sales is a proud supporter of the Martin County Cardinals and all mountain athletes. There you go, the cheerleaders of Martin County trying to get that pet section fired up as their team needs them right now. Daryl McCoy. Back here at the Appalachia Wireless Arena, Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy on the call right now. McGoffin County leads 29-19. You're watching the second quarter courtesy of Bailey's Carpet and Hardware. As you see, the Cardinal feeling itself down here. He's Guys, dancing. This is uh, McGoffin County has been to the region finals four times and has never won it. Wow. Listen, up 10, 
Aiden Barnett going to the line under a minute to play, Daryl, here in the first half. Now, uh, McGoffin County is one for nine right, in this quarter. Yeah. Um, one Martin for nine County. Shooting. Martin County. Yeah, Martin, Martin County. County. Yeah, it Martin County. Is one for nine shooting in this quarter. Ice cold, and several of those were missed layups, Daryl. The only made field goal was Peyton Davis. Well, here's Zachary Tackett in the Southside Building Carport comment section. Says Barnett's going to drop 50. They may want a triangle and two him, or uh, put two on him. Well, He's already not, got 17. Well, we get what you're saying. That's not a triangle and two, but we get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Might want to, <laughs> you know, who knows? Per Might throw two guys at him. Perry Central's up on breath at 15-13 in the 14th region final. Wild atmosphere here I'm in Pikeville, a, Kentucky. Uh, uh, Bud Montgomery watching from Cave Run, cheering on the Cardinals. Amanda Susan Edwards says it's about time they get, get them one. Go Hornets. Dolphin County. Listen, I was good friends with the great Danny Adams that coached there for many years, was the coach of that 96 team. I'm sure they've been wanting one. They've been smelling. They've been wanting one for a long time, Thomas. Exactly. That close. That close on several occasions. We've got a stoppage in play just to let you know there is some blood on the floor, so they're having to clean it up. When Go Barnett ahead. went and spun inside, he collided with Maynard, and Ma Maynard is bleeding. Bleeding, they're cleaning that up. The McGolfin County student section has not set down, and they have been loud and raucous the entire time. No, well, look over here at Martin County. They're the same way. They're, they're, they're willing this team, Coach. Yeah, they're not going to set down either spirit section as we look through the crowd. Look at the upper deck, folks. This – Right here, this place is packed to the gill. Best atmosphere I have ever seen, guys, in the five years we've been doing the 15th region tournament. By far. Yeah, yeah, it's not close. So the uh, Stephen Newsom says Boyd is up by one on Rowan County at the start of the fourth. Keep us updated, guys, on uh, games around the region. Perry Central leads 18-17 over breath, at Robbie Field says. Kia Mort says, love seeing the region tournament this packed. Well, baby-faced Kia Mortz, they're playing on your home floor. You know, the, uh, let us know who you think is going to win this one. I agree with we you. We need to put his name somewhere out here. Right. <laughs> Daryl, I agree with you, though. This is as large a crowd as I've seen, and I've been gone several times, but that Shelby Valley – uh, in 2007 and 8, when Elijah Justice played, they set the record. The East Kentucky Miners held the record of almost 5,000. So a week later, they, the region tournament broke the record, and it was Elijah Justice in that 07 team that had about uh, almost 5,500 in here. This, oh, yeah. Go ahead. That, when, when they first, I think it was the second year they had it here, was the largest that I've probably ever seen this place. But it wasn't a finals, though. It was a semifinals. Yeah, I can't remember, remember what it was, but I just know they announced that the Miners set the record. Then a week later, Shelby Valley set the record. I'm telling you, as you look around, guys, right here, again, second quarter sponsored by Bailey's Carpet and Hardware. We also want to thank Brian Parker, Salyersville Funeral Home, Johnny B's at Johnny B's Pizza. Do us a favor, guys. You want to support D&D. If you're in Sayersville, call Johnny B's Pizza. Also want to thank our good friend Linda and Thelma at the end of Route 3, Crumb Funeral Home, a longtime partner of D&D Sports Network. As we also, uh, guys, want to thank Tommy's Auto Sales, located in Inez, used in pre-owned vehicles. He's got the best selection, guys, and we'll give you the best deal. All right, here we go. They got everything cleaned up. Barnett to shoot two. Thomas, look what I found. McGoffin County has a mascot over there, too. Oh, yeah, there's the Hornet. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, the security's on the Hornet. <laughs> Looky there, guys. Oh, watch out, man. Well, somebody needs to get on the Hornets. They're on fire right now. Absolutely. A fire truck needs to. Barnett. Knocked it down. Now with 18 oh. points. I will fix that. They had me too long, folks. Again, Barnett shoots 82% from the line. Oh. Announcer's jinxed. I coach. did. I jinxed him. 18 points for Barnett. 30-19 is your score. Here comes McKenzie. They dropped off to the trailer. Hits Luke Hill. 
Again, Hale misses the layup. Uh, they've missed several layups, Darrell, here in the second quarter. You know that you don't expect them to miss too many more going into the second half. Now, Coach, they're giving Devin Maynard a break, and they brought in Mr. Logo himself, Bryson Dawes. Watch out. You don't want to give him a last second shot. No. He will bury it and let you know about it. Bryson Dawes, just an eighth grader, 25, checking in for Martin County. Peyton Davis now with Aiden Barnett. Here you go, Daryl. Yeah, they'll kick it out. That's the matchup we expected. Salyers. On that. 1,400 strong tuning in to see his last shot at the end of the half here. Davis. Barnett. Off the mark. And that will end the half as McGolfin County will go into the locker room with a 30-19 lead over the Martin County Cardinals. We'll be right back for the convenient drug halftime show. Deep three. Off the mark. Rebound. If that would have went in, this building would have erupted. Rebound by hell. Here comes Peyton Davis. Wow. Nice bucket there. If you want to make your dream home come true, call Solid Rock Development today. Check out some of these interior and exterior jobs they've done over the past few years. Solid Rock Development is making custom dream homes come true at a great price. Family owned, family operated, and faith backed. Give us a call today at Solid Rock Development. Six oh six here now has a new location in Cold Run, right outside Pikeville, for all your CBD, kratom, and vape items. Come see us. If Pikeville's too far, we got locations in Paintsville and Fort Gay. We look forward to seeing you soon. Looking for a good printing company? Come to Custom Print and Design in South Williamson, Kentucky. Mike Stafford can take care of all your needs, whether it's game day gear, election ads or just business material they can do it they can embroider screen print digital printing signs and banners decals and labels business forms vinyl lettering team apparel ad specialty and more come see us at custom print and design and hi everybody dave baker here for citizens bank of kentucky do you want to love your car even more how about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at cbk it is fast, it's easy, all you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Here we go, we're back. Yes, As you sir. see the crowd all over the Expo. Coach, you got us a recap on what broke down in the first half. Oh my, Thomas Rainey. It's been McGolfin County, Nathan Barnett. Wow, I'm watching Spinneronis here there, though, Darrell, on the floor by the McCart, uh, McGolfin yeah. County dance team, but 30 to 19, McGolfin County leads it by 11, led by Aiden Barnett, and it's been Aiden Barnett attacking, it's been Aiden Barnett mid-range game and using his three ball. He has 18 points to lead all scores. Grayson Whitaker has three points. Zane Whitaker has four points. Walker Russell has two, and Ethan Salyers hits that big three in the deep corner. For Martin County, ice cold shooting in the second quarter. By our statistics, they were one for 11 from the field, and that one field goal came from Peyton Davis. Uh, Luke Hell, their lead scorer, Darrell. Here, here's, here's where it's at. Averaging over 23 a game, Luke Hell has been held scoreless. Braden McKenzie has eight points. Jacob Sturgill has six points. Peyton Davis has five points, and that's your score and breakdown. Yeah, that, well, as you're seeing right now, that's really been Martin County's problem. You know, this defense, that was what I was worried about coming in here. I said, listen, McGolfin County, I worry, you know, can they get other players involved on the offensive end? But the thing I worried about for Martin County is can the defense of the guards – really give Martin County any issues. That's what I was worried about. I knew Salyers, Walker Russell, uh, or Grayson Whitaker has all done a tremendous job. Aiden Barnett may be the defensive player of the tournament, uh, him or Peyton Davis, and then you got Zane Whitaker, the way he's blocked shots. Nobody's playing collective team defense like Aiden Barnett. Well, I was going to tell you, 
at, for my vote, if we gave out a defensive postseason player award, man, oh, man, it's tough not to go with Zane Whitaker and the job he's done defensively time and time again on the interior. And uh, But, again, Luke Hill, this is the second game, Daryl, in postseason play where he has had two or less points going into the halftime. They're yeah. going to have to find a way because make no mistake about it, Luke Hill is – one of the most skilled offensive weapons in the mountains, not just the 15th region. I'm talking about 14th and 16th. You got to find a way to get him going often and early in the third quarter. I, I, I agree 100%. They've got to get Luke Hill or Jacob Sturgill going on the offensive end. One of them two has to step up. That's their playmakers. They're the ones that have to carry them home. You know, everybody else, they have to get theirs. Braden McKenzie has to step up as well, but them two right there are the secrets. And I like what Martin County was doing defensively early. They were going three-quarter court, half-court zone, and they were just kind of slowing down, uh, trying to slow down McGolfin County. Uh, they got out of it really quick because they were throwing over top, but if I'm Martin County, I wouldn't go away from it uh, so quickly uh, because it, it looked like it was slowing down McGolfin just enough to where they could keep it out of Barnett's hands. Absolutely. Guys, you're watching the Convenient Drug Halftime Show. Convenient Drug in Martin County, owned and operated by Corey Conley, is the most convenient drug store in the mountains. It's located right on Mountain Parkway across from McGoffin County High School. If you want to support D&D Sports Network, take all your pharmaceutical needs to Convenient Drug because they are a huge McGoffin County supporter. As great. Man, we've got some. We've got everybody watching. Oh, meteorologist Jim Caldwell from WYMT. Oh, oh wow! T- McGoffin County alum is yeah. tuned into the D and D Sports Network. Well, Jim Caldwell was a weatherman when I used to do my weekly show there, the Coach Keithley show. Jim Caldwell got. Hey, listen, ask him anytime. He he's always got a joke of the week for you. Uh, Caldwell does. Well, I can tell you one thing that he sees it raining today, and that's three-pointers because McGoffin County, Ethan Sayers stepped up, Coach, Aiden Barnett, you know, they've been a host of players with threes from McGoffin County. Absolutely. Knocking down the threes and Aiden Barnett getting it done. More fun facts for you. Yep. All right. McGoffin County does have someone who's been to the uh, state tournament. Coach Castle was the assistant coach yep. on the girls' team that won the region. When oh, his daughter yeah. Jamie played okay. there, yeah, and she went on to be a four-year uh, player for UPI. Oh wow! Okay, so he knows a little bit about getting there, he's, and uh, he's, he's been, been there in this that. spot. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that that's true. And guys, as you're sitting here, real quick, we want to thank uh, all the people tuning in. Cat Bird Isaac says I had to go down and turn the lights off at McGoffin County. <laughs> John Howard says uh, nice transition, Daryl. Raining threes. Uh, watching from Knoxville, Sasha Sparks says, Go McGoffin County, her hometown. Uh, said, Go McGoffin, watching from 40 in uh, Sayersville. Guys, it's been a, uh, this tournament here took a lot of people to make happen. We want to thank our gracious sponsors State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crumb Funeral Home, City of Co Run, Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott, Hot Rod Pizza, Matt Hager Law, Hilton Homes of Ival. On Point Ballers, Bailey's Carpet and Hardware, Clayton Tackett and Love Homes, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Jeremy Pinson and our friends at Punks Tires, Holland Jones Funeral Home, Pike County Judge Robbie Wright, Sayersville Funeral Home, Tommy Maynard Auto Sales in Martin County, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, we got Smoking Hot Vape Shop, our friends at the end of Route 3. Man Toyota, man, what a deal. Howard Family Pharmacy, Corey Conley at Conley Brothers Giovanni's and Convenient Drug. J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carports. Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law. If you're in it for the win, call Glenn. 606 Hemp, Corey Hayes at Hayes Training up. System. Pike County Jailer, Brian Morris, Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic. Kirk Law Firm, Custom Print and Design, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, Personal Injury Lawyer, Ray Jones, Sloan Chiropractic, Zach Sloan, located right beside McGough County High School. Right now, he's doing CDLs, physicals, and more. Give Zach a call for all your chiropractic needs there in McGough County. Listen, 
you know, everybody's happy. Everybody in McAuliffe County is jumping for joy. But this game is far from over. Hmm. Martin County's got to run in them. These first four minutes, Coach, we say it all the time, first four minutes of the second half is going to be crucial. If Martin County can come out, get a little bit of momentum rolling, they're, they're there. I mean, they're on, you know, they're down 11 points. That is nothing in high school well, basketball, well, and especially the way Martin County shoots a three. Martin County is a high octane offense. They got multiple weapons and multiple scores. You know it's only a matter of time before they get going offensively. If you're McGolfin County, you know that run's coming. Is, if is McGolfin County's got to be able to handle that punch and be able to hit back. They're going to be able to have to be able to weather that offensive storm that Martin County's going to bring. It's going to happen just at what point, who knows. Deborah Allen says, thank you, Paul Burchett, for buying tickets for the kids. Uh, said, uh, we got John Arnett watching from Capital City of Frankfurt. We know with that last name, Arnett, who he's cheering for. Uh, Tim Fletcher, Tim and Amy says they're watching from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Jerry Allen watching from Jacksonville, Florida. Guys, so far from my count, we've had 38 different states tuning in. Wow. Uh, Go Hornets, uh, it's your year. Thanks, d d for all your coverage, Sherry Moore says. Uh, Michaela Patrick says, Go Hornets. Shirley Beck says, watching from Carlisle Creek. Uh, we see Misty Shepard says, works in Louisville, couldn't make it. Thanks, d d Sports Network. Brian Michael Parker, uh, I can cheer on my Hornets because of you guys. And said, you guys are so right. Can't uh, count out the cards. Gary Helton says, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Second half action live on the d d Sports Network. Smoking Hot Vape Shop in Inez, Kentucky carries a wide selection of disposable vapes, juice, mods, batteries, and accessories, as well as a great selection of Delta products. Smoking Hot guarantees authenticity of products and allows you to try before you buy on disposable products using a sanitary test tip. Open seven days a week. Stop in and check them out. Find them on Facebook or visit their website, SmokingHotKY.com, for complete hours. Stop by and see your friends at the end of Route 3. Eastern Kentucky understands the importance of taking care of one another. That's why after graduation, I came home. 25 years later, I've put together a team at Glenmar and Hammond Law Offices dedicated to fighting for your legal rights. When you're dealing with a sensitive legal issue, you want someone who will take care of you as a person, not just another case. Our team will help you through the legal process of social security, personal injury, work injury, car wrecks, wrongful death, medical malpractice, and nursing home neglect. Call us today. Whether you're trying to hit the trails in style or you're trying to protect your side-by-side, -side, call J.I. Fab in Pikeville, Kentucky. They got great deals on roll cages, rock sliders, bumpers, nerf bars, and more. Remember, for all your custom ATV, UTV parts, J.I. Fab is your one-stop shop for everything. Six oh six here now has a new location in Cold Run, right outside Pikeville, for all your CBD, kratom, and vape items. Come see us. If Pikeville's too far, we got locations in Paintsville and Fort Gay. We look forward to seeing you soon. With tax season coming up, make the smart decision with your money. Stop at Tommy's Auto Sales in Inez, Kentucky. Right now, you can get cars, trucks, and SUVs at the best prices around. Tommy's Auto Sale is a proud supporter of the Martin County Cardinals and all mountain athletes. If you're looking for a small town pharmacy that will treat you like family from the second you walk in the door, come see us at Convenient Drug. Convenient Drug in Sagersville, Kentucky, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. We look forward to seeing you. All right, Daryl McCoy, we're ready. We're back. Back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. 30 to 19, McGoffin County up on Martin County. Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy. We are back here, 111 to go before the second half. 
By the way, this third quarter, guys, is sponsored by our good friends. Here's Monster in the middle, Trey James in the house, pride of Martin County, led the Martin County Cardinals to a region title, it's all six foot ten of him. Guys, third quarter coming at you, sponsored by our friends at Crumb Funeral Home. Now, we're getting ready to get started. The keys to the second half, you got to get Luke Hill and Sturgill going for Martin County, and then for McGoffin County, you got to continue doing what you're doing, Coach. Continue going to Barnett, feeding your star. And if, if they continue doing that, I think I, both of them would be the secret still coming out with a victory. The one thing that you always realize, and we always tell our guys on the pro level, is you better believe there's going to be four runs in a basketball game. It's going to happen. How does McGoffin County respond to Martin County's run? Can they punch back? Can they limit their run? We're going to find out. That's going to be the key to McGoffin County. How do they handle it when Martin County gets going? Here's what we said pregame. Supporting cast, who shines more? Remember, Coach? Right now, I'd have to give the nod to McGoffin County. Experience of Martin County. They've overcame that so far. And limit turnovers. So far, turnovers has not been that big of a deal in this game. Not been a factor. Alan, We're ready. Allen Wright says, D&D, &D, king of the mountains. Appreciate you, Allen Wright, always supporting us. Right out of the gate to get Luke Hill the ball. Yeah. Bucket, he misses. Rebound by Whitaker. Here comes Barnett. Barnett working on Davis. Good defense. Had it poked away. On the go. Yeah, here comes Devin Maynard. Maynard loses it. There's an over, Darrell. Yep. Grayson Whitaker right there. Great hustle by McKenzie. You can see those nerves uh, on those possessions, Thomas. Uh, you know, a little hurried. Here we go. Salyers the inbound. Great defense by Peyton Davis on Barnett on that trip. This is the marquee matchup right here. Uh, kick it over. Salyers. Back over to the corner. Nice look. Walker Russell. Gonna get Davis with a personal. Russell going to the free throw line. Walker Russell has two points. Bradley Goble says, do what you do with them three-pointers, Luke Hill. Got it. Making a 12-point lead. Walker Russell has came up huge here in the postseason for McGolfin County. Got it. Back off to Sturgill. Sturgill, as we mentioned time and time again, he's a point forward for McGolfin County. They're gonna try to get held the ball again. Sturgill, nice drive. Sturgill has eight points. It's been Sturgill and McKenzie. They've got 16 of the 21, coach. Yeah, balance, uh, nice score between those two. 10 second call. Yep. Great job there. Baited them right into it. And could the tide be turning here? Let's see how McGolfin County handles. Big possession right here, Coach. Right. You can just feel it, can't you? Yes, you can. Coach Kevin Wood says we brought all of McGolfin County with us tonight. You ain't lying, Kevin. There you go, hell. Goes baseline. Gonna well, shoot two. Yep. And that's two out of three trips down the floor that they've ran offensive sets for Luke Hale. Got to love it. Got to love what Coach is doing. He said, we're getting our best player of the rock. He's going to lead us to the promised land one way or the other. Luke Hale shoots over 80% on the year from the free throw line, averaging over 23 a game. As I mentioned, he's fourth in the region in scoring. And there it is on a 4-0 run here, Thomas. Mini run. Dolphin County having trouble inbound. Another turnover. Yep. And that's what we talked about. How is McGolfin County going to handle pressure? Timeout, 30-second timeout. Huge timeout. They'll, they, is it a 30? 30-second timeout. We'll, we'll keep it here. Yeah, we'll keep it here during this one. Guys, don't forget third quarter, sponsored by Crumb Funeral Home. Guys, as you're sitting here, Cardinal trying to get the fans pumped up. 
Martin County has come out of the locker room exactly the way they needed to if they was going to make a comeback here. Down nine right now. Big position coming out of the timeout. And we've seen throughout the year that McGoffin County at times, when teams get on a run, they, they I don't want to say they fall apart, but they kind of bend a little bit. You can't bend a little bit for this Martin County team. They're too good offensively. 4-0 run. They have an opportunity to extend on that right here. Let's see if they go back to Luke Hale. There you see cheerleaders dancing. They're feeling it right now. Martin L County's pumped. Yep. There on McCoy. Looking for that return trip to Lexington as they are the reigning 15th region champ, Sturgill. Backs it back out. Telling him take it. Swung it around, McKenzie. Back out to Davis. Maynard has it out top. He's yep. going to shoot the three. Left it short. Barnett with the rebound. Hornets on the push. Deep corner. No good. Again, McCartan County just kind of, McGoffin County just rushing shots. They're a little anxious on the offensive end. Peyton Davis turns the corner. Nice step off. Going to shoot two. What a pass by Davis there. Devin Maynard going to the line. If you're McGolfin County, you want to slow this run down. This is the first. Guys, update out of the 14th region. Perry Central leads breath at 33-28. Got it. Travis Cole says he'd love to see the McGoffin County band on camera if we can make it happen. We'll get them in a minute, Travis. Personal foul on Maynard. Maynard. Aiden Barnett directing traffic. And that evens it up, fouls at two apiece. And trap comes, Barnett splits the double team. Full head of steam. Gotta have your hands ready. Right. Barnett says, have your hands ready, young man. Whitaker just wasn't ready for it. Martin yeah. County, let's see if they can seize on this McGoffin Oops. County kind of discombobulation. There's a Sturgill off the mark. Mark right back to him. Off the mark again. We'll stay Martin County ball. Guys, McGoffin County has brought fly swats, saying they're going to swat the Hornets. <laughs> And we've seen some people with a broom saying sweep the Hornets as they beat them three times already this year. Luke Hale. Got it. Sweet, sir. Cool hand, Luke Hale. Five-point game. How does McGolfin County respond? We told you there was going to be a run. Barnett straight away three. Booyah! He says right back at you. Yep. Now here comes Sturgill. He's going to hand it off. Hale coming off screen. Had it stripped away. Again, Ethan Sayers with another strip. Coming up big. Yeah, there goes Barnett downhill. Aiden Barnett with 21 points. The senior. The crowd is Boncos, Thomas Rainey. This place is electric. Yeah. Oh, got it to roll in. 1,400 people tuning in, guys. Hit that like and share button. 2,000 strong. Bring it, ladies and gentlemen. Got it. I'm all off tonight. 23 points for Aiden Barnett. Sturgill walking it up the floor here for the Hornets. Sturgill hands it off. Pull up, McKenzie off the mark. Rebound to Grayson Whitaker. Here comes Barnett. Barnett telling Whitaker to set him a screen. We got offside official. Got a call on Martin County. That is Maynard's third foul. Oh, well, good job there by Whitaker drawing the foul on Sturgill. That'll be the fifth. That'll send Whitaker to the line. That is Sturgill's second personal. 
and Whitaker is going to go to the line. Ten point lead, McGoffin. John Howard says he's watching it on different devices. And you got it on YouTube, Facebook, and dndsports.com. Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, and Daryl McCoy on the call as you're watching the third quarter, sponsored by Crumb Funeral Home. Whitaker sinks the second, makes it an 11-point lead. See if they try to get Hale another bucket. No, Sturgill. Yeah, coach right there, do more of that. Well, you want to get downhill, right? Get yep. to the rack. Straight line drives for Sturgill. There goes Barnett, same way. He missed it. He said, what about a call? Sturgill kicks it up court. Maynard gets the lay in. Seven point game. Salyers. There it is, Whitaker. Yep. Maynard with the rebound. Here comes McKenzie back the other way. Big possession. Sturgill, ball fake, pull up from the elbow. It's down to five. Yeah, Barnett trapped. Thrown away, Sturgill with the steal. Five point ball game. Ooh. Look at this place, folks. Got a timeout coming, media timeout. They'll take a media timeout. We're going to jump out too. We'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. Whether you're trying to hit the trails in style or you're trying to protect your side-by-side, -side, call J.I. Fab in Pikeville, Kentucky. They got great deals on row cages, rock sliders, bumpers, nerf bars, and more. Remember, for all your custom ATV, UTV parts, J.I. Fab is your one-stop shop for everything. here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. 3.25 to go here in this Crumb Funeral Home third quarter. Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy. It is McGoffin County leading 38-33 over the Martin County Cardinals. There's Sturgill. Martin County on a run here. Off the mark. Barnett. Going the other way. And see that? That'll send them shooting free throws. You know, Doug Howard says D&D &D is the best network in the mountains. Well, Doug Howard has an excavating company, D&D. &D. You, nice. you had Whitaker wide open for a layup. Yeah. Barnett didn't see him. Grayson Whitaker wide open. Nevertheless, Barnett's going to shoot two. That's the same as a layup, Martin Ant shooting free throws. Yeah, yeah, it's automatic, Coach, 82% on the year. Knocks him down. He should have been at the line off the foul that's, down here. That's a good point. Missed call on that one. Got him. It worked out in the end. Seven-point lead, McGoffin County. Three minutes to play here in the third quarter. 
Peyton Davis, the junior. Yeah. Over to Luke Hale, the senior. Sayers not far behind Luke Hale wherever he's at. Absolutely. Yeah. Sayers has done a tremendous job. If Luke Hale goes to the restroom, Sayers is handling the TP. He's going. <laughs> McKenzie. Sturgill. A little between the legs action. Yeah. Davis a pull. Yeah, he don't, thought about it. Don't give him any room. Yeah. Sturgill. Had nice patience here by McGoffin County. Get a good, I mean, Martin County to get a good shot. There goes McKenzie. Turn around. Off the mark. Barnett grabs the board. Baseball pass. Football pass. Got it. Yeah. And, and Coach Barnett was known to play quarterback. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's looking like a quarterback there. 30 yep. seconds. Let's check out the replay of that outlet pass. John. There goes McKenzie. Turn around. Off the mark. Barnett grabs the board. Baseball pass. Football pass. Got it. Yeah. We're back here. We're not going anywhere on a 30-second no. timeout. Not, not when you do, not when you no. got this many people Head, watching. Head up. See on the floor. You got your teammates running the floor. Layups. That's what it takes to win big ball games. Those differentials. Layups in transition, knocking down free throws. Thomas, there's the Matt Hager band cam there. As you people wanted to see McGoffin County's band, there it is, thanks to Matt Hager Law. And they're dancing for joy right now. Listen, people don't think the the kids in the band can get crunk either. Them <laughs> kids are some of the wildest kids on campus. Aiden Barnett already with 25 points. There's still two minutes to play in the third. Approaching his average on the year. Just 1.6, you're 400 away. Come on, phone a friend, tell a friend. This is a ball game right here. Get it over 2,000, oh. pull up. And they oh, got him on the charge. Yeah. And that's Sturgill's fourth. No, that is Sturgill's fourth personal. Now that's big for Martin County. Fourth personal foul, ladies and gentlemen, on Jacob Sturgill. He's going to have to come out. Uh, breaking news out of the 14th region. Perry Central up 47 36 with four minutes to go. Oh! They got a set. What do we have here? Said he stepped out. Stepped yeah. on the line. Well, I thought they were going to give him an offensive <laughs> foul. <laughs> Coach Castle was saying maybe he was nudged a little. They got to get Jacob Sturgill out of the game, Thomas Rainey. He's got four, and I don't know if anybody's let the coaching staff know. The assistant coaches should be on top of that one. Yeah, you can't have Sturgill in there. You got to save him at least to midway through the fourth. Luke Hell battling. I'm not sure the assistant coaches are on top of that. I can't imagine Coach James leaving Sturgill in with two minutes to go on the third. Both teams have six turnovers at the moment, thanks to Joe Kinzer from at home. Joe's doing a tremendous job. The stat guru. Maynard off to Hale. Let's see if Hale can get it going downhill. Got oh. it blocked. Yeah. He picked up the foul, and he did get a piece of it. Whitaker said, oh, ball. Yeah. Speaking of Joe Kinzer, Thomas, you know, we're just – we're the A team of commentating for D&D, &D, but we do have good commentators around the horn in Joe Kinzer, Ronnie and Eugene Newsom, Barker. Like, we're, we are blessed with great – Broadcaster Joe Kinzer making sure we are kept up with the stats. Joe Kinzer, from a, home. <laughs> a, a team player. Somebody just let them know Sturgill had four. They oh. got him out. How, how does that go unnoticed, ladies and well, gentlemen? That was lucky. On, that, that's well, just the coaches should be on top of that one. Here we go. Seven points for Luke Hill. But they do. They get him out. Barnett. Nice spin. Oh, off the mark. Put back. Yeah. Who else but Walker Russell? He's uh, made a living all tournament long. I believe that was Reed Meadows. Oh, was it? Reed Meadows with the bucket. McKenzie. Got it oh. blocked. Yeah. Nine point lead McGoffin. Barnett. Three ball. Off the mark. Rebound. Bryson Dials on the go. 
Peyton Davis pulling. He's off the mark. Rebound. Hell off the mark. McKenzie saves it. Going over camera people and everything. Six oh. up. Peyton Davis coming up big. Peyton Davis with eight points. Oh my. You see our great camera guys down there, Jaden and Jackson, producer KJ sitting at home cheering us on. Don't go anywhere. Oh, Barnett, a little shake, a little bake. 34 seconds to go. We got a two position game here. Barnett, who else? Davis coming away with the loose ball. Here they come, Davis right down the gut. Gonna shoot two. Peyton Davis coming up big here, Daryl. Coach, that's our D&D &D Mountain Elite, PG. Yeah, he's doing big things defensively. Scrappy, gritty, and he's hitting big shots. Peyton Davis, a junior. This is the first. Tim Sargrave says D and D is the voice of the mountains. Baby T six and says Peyton Davis is a dog. Joe Kinder says Martin four for ten from three. Got it. Thinks it. Eighteen hundred people tuning in. Inching closer to that two thousand mark. Yep. Sire getting trout. Peyton. Peyton Davis said, bring it. McAuliffe County said, you got it, buddy. We're going to bring it. I like it. That, that's your kind of basketball, Daryl McCoy. I love it, man. Physical basketball. You got two of the most physical in Barnett and Davis sitting there matched up. Mono e mono. All right. Seven point three left. Five right. point game. Sayers gets it into Barnett. Barnett, good defense. Hell picks the pocket. Oh my! You're not going to want to go anywhere. You are not. We're ending the third quarter. It's McGoffin County forty-four, Martin County thirty-nine. We'll be right back. Wow. When it comes to burying a loved one. You need to make sure that they're left in the right hands. That's why you need to call Crumb Funeral Home. Located in Inez, Kentucky. You can give them a call today at 606-298-0602. Located on 498 Kentucky Route 3 North in Inez, Kentucky. Give them a call today. Crumb Funeral Home. With tax season coming up, make the smart decision with your money. Stop at Tommy's Auto Sales in Inez, Kentucky. Right now, you can get cars, trucks, and SUVs at the best prices around. Tommy's Auto Sales is a proud supporter of the Martin County Cardinals and all mountain athletes. Six oh six here now has a new location in Cole Run, right outside Pikeville, for all your CBD. Kratom and vape items, come see us. If Pikeville's too far, we got locations in Painesville and Fort Gay. We look forward to seeing you soon. We are back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, coming out in this fourth quarter, sponsored by our friends at the end of Route 3, Linda and Thelma. Right now, McGoffin County leads Martin County, 44-39. Jumper, got it. Six up. Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy on the call, and we got a three-point ball game. We asked you at halftime, how is McGoffin County going to weather the storm? Uh -oh. Not so good so far. Again, how do you hold serve, Thomas Rainey, when the storm comes? That's right. what you got to figure out. You know it's coming. Yeah. Martin you know County, it's coming. Martin County's too good offensively. So now you just got to relax and take care of business like you've done all game. Whoa. Oh, coming off the screen, Devin Maynard with an easy deuce. It's a one-point game. 
Aiden Barnett clearing everybody out. Barnett splits the double. Nice take by Barnett. And miscommunication. Bryson Dawes couldn't get to the play there. Him and Devin Maynard not on the same page. And remember, Jacob Sturgill's on the bench with four fouls. Yeah. The eighth grader's in the game. And he's not your normal eighth grader. No, he ain't. He's special. <laughs> he, Barnett there. wide open. Go oh. shoot two. And right there, Jaden, the cameraman, right on. Or, I, I yeah. missed it, man. I sure did. Barnett hey. going to the line. A chance to extend this lead. Yeah. We see Jaden and Jackson Estridge down there on the cameras. Producer KJ, they've done great all week long bringing you guys the shots at home. Barnett's missed two free throws tonight. Unlike Aiden Barnett, he's shooting in that 80% range, Kennedy, 82%. Kennedy Tegan Hoskins says go Hornets. Sherry Moore says take care of the business. Sinks the second. Two possession game. Sturgill back in. He has four personal fouls. One more, he's out. Dowell's coming off a handoff action. Sturgill's back in the game. Yep, Sturgill. Davis couldn't hang on to it. Aiden Barnett. Whitaker gets it. Oh, Sturgill got lucky there. And there's a battle. Barnett. Russell. Russell. Walker Russell has done an outstanding job on the offensive glass all tournament long. Nice job. Yep. Braden McKenzie, 12 points. I agree, Walker Russell, a little shook up. Aiden Barnett, they're going to get a personal on Bryson Dawes. Guys, I am surprised, as good as he's been playing, Devin Maynard not in the game right now. But he just went out, Daryl. Yeah, they took him out, I think, over that turnover. Whitaker back to Sayers. Officials letting the lot go. Yeah, Sturgeon's got very lucky on a couple. Russell, Walker, Russell, go McCoy. Yeah, Sturgeon can't do anything about it. You see him stand with his hands up. Back to six, Luke Hill traveled with it. Yeah, McGoffin County has turned it up, folks. They have weathered the storm, it appears. Coach James calling out fist, double fist. That means they're going to show some pressure. Whitaker back over to Barnett. Got Russell on the backside. Yep, they Missing. had him. Barnett, the seven-year veteran. And you heard that right, seven years. Whitaker wide wow. open. He said, I'm not taking that one, Daryl McCoy. No, right now, I mean, that's smart. No reason to really no. rush it. No. Clock's on your side. Peyton Davis on Barnett like white on rice. Whitaker. Had it stripped. Dahl's doing a great job out top. Credit Dahl's in the effort he's given. Yes, sir. Timeout, McGoffin yeah. County. McGoffin taking a timeout. Well, we'll stay here during this full timeout. Full timeout, guys, is brought to you courtesy of our friend Zach Sloan at Sloan Chiropractic in McGoffin County. Darrell McCoy, from what I understand, fourth quarter commercial free the rest of the way. That's what D&D brings. I, we got us a sponsor that says, listen, Keep it going. Bring the action. Absolutely. We're not going anywhere. We're we going to be with you for the rest of the way. We got cheerleaders. We got bands. We got plenty of stuff to cover. Absolutely. Cheerleaders telling Martin County to rise to their feet. You've got the Cardinal trying to get the pep section going. Brandon Marshall says, D&D Sports is better than Sports Center. Now give a shout out to my wife's business, New Image in Paintsville. <laughs> hey, there we go. Shout out, Brandon, shout out. We just hit it, 2,000. Wow. New record. We knew it. Hey, 2,500, you got it in you, let's go. Sure. 2,000 2, people tuning in to this 15th region final. So bring it uh, home, my hometown. Let us know an update from the 14th region, folks. Let us know who's winning that one. Uh, Carolyn Dillard says, thank you, D&D, &D, 
Sports Network says, looks like a Jelly Roll concert <laughs> in there. It's so packed, Baby T says. Uh, Melissa Horn says, come on, Cardinals, you can do it. And they're right. saying 2,000. You got Aiden go. Barnett right there. You get a good look at him. Barnett. Matt, get tra they're using that trap in the corners. Oh, there it is. Stolen away, Luke Hill. Got it to go. Yep. 51-47. Luke Hill now with seven points. Salyers. Fouled by Dawes. Excuse me, Luke Hill has nine points. Nice job. They're coming and trapping Aiden Barnett on every opportunity. And that length of Bryson Dawes giving Barnett some issues. Is that three or four on Dawes? That is. I don't know. They haven't updated the board. They, they don't have an up. Here we go. Walker right. Russell. Again, three layups here in the last minute from Walker Russell. Devin Maynard has it out top. Luke Hell. Like heavyweight fighters trading punches. Back and forth we go. Can McGolfin County weather the storm and hold on? Or does Martin County repeat? Their trap coming. I like it. I like what they're doing. Yeah. Fans wanted the push off. Salyer, the dump down. Russell. Got it to go. Yeah, got it to fall, Coach. Four layups for Walker Russell here in the last minute, minute and a half. 12 points for number zero. Hell, they're getting him going. Can't get it to go. Yeah. And there's Russell again, Daryl. Barnett. I mean, there's a lot of contact there. Credit Peyton Davis for playing physical with Aiden Barnett. Timeout on the floor, media timeout. Daryl McCoy, wow. Is yeah. that, listen, the, the competitive nature of Peyton Davis is causing Aiden Barnett some issues here the last couple of minutes. Guys, we'll stay here during this media timeout. It is sponsored by Bailey's Carpet and Hardware. Get all your hardware and carpet needs from Bailey's Carpet and Hardware located in Sayersville, guys. They do a great job supporting the Hornets. They say go Hornets and go Mountain Athletes. So, guys, as we're sitting here, 3.53 to go, 55-49 lead. Coach, two-possession ball game. You see a young cheerleader right there, Thomas. Sorry. There we go. We got them yeah. up there up top. Yeah. There we she got was. little she, cheerleaders. Yeah, she was cheering there. We'll go as you see the Matt Hager fan cam. Well, you have listened three and a half thousand plus here at the Expo Center, and it has been as loud as it's ever been since we've been covering the 15th Region Tournament. Both fan bases have brought it. They've been their sixth man, no doubt about it. Well, you see the people up top here in the nosebleeds cheering on, and right there's our guy, Mr. Neha. Neha way high, Thomas. Up there in the nosebleeds Ath watching this one. Athletic director, McGoffin County High School. We had A.D. Chuck White over here earlier yeah. for Martin County. I tell you what, we're ready. We're ready. I, I, I like what Martin, uh, what, uh, Martin County's doing to Barnett. They're bringing those traps. They're bringing those doubles on catches. And it's it, caused McGoffin some issues. And making him do something. Right. Making him get rid of it. Try to make him get it out of his hands. And what they're doing when they don't and they allow him to give it up, they're doubling Whitaker in the high post. Absolutely. They are really, yeah. this is a great offense. Looks like that Perry Central is going to hang on to beat Breath at 61 to 55, 20 seconds left. Man. Man, yeah. old man. And I tell you. May be the job of the year for Coach Shannon Hoskins. Unbelievable, the players that he lost. Yep. Wow. All right, here we go. Saggers to inbound. Barnett says, get me the rock. Yeah. Watch it, here it comes, Daryl. Yeah, there's the trap. Kicks it over. Barnett. Oh, no that, call. Yep. Wow. They Davis. are letting them play. Davis. Off the mark. Sturgill with the rebound. Big rebound by Whitaker. Yep. The Dolphin County's got to calm down. Going to shoot two, hard foul. Davis said, you're not getting an easy one on my watch. 
2,100 people strong. But I'll tell you what, this young man right here, Walker Russell, has come up as big as any Hornet tonight. If there's an MVP besides Aiden Barnett, you yeah. better believe he's yeah, the one. Yeah, I agree. Walker Russell converts. Norma back watching the Hornets from UK Medical Center. Center. 2100 tuning in. Got it. The best quote of the night. Where was it? Bethany. Pennington. Bethany Goble. Lordy, I'm on a Zoom Zoom for my college class, and I can't pay attention because of this game. <laughs> Let's go, Hornets. Look hell, the jumper. Got it. Sweet. Oh, hell yeah. Cash Sweet money. Move. Got it. Dangerous Ooh. passes, Thomas. Yeah, Barnett. Barnett just bullying oh. his way. Yep. Offensive foul. Uh, and look who it was uh, Peyton, taking the foul. Peyton Davis. Peyton Davis has been like a gnat. And I hate to even say gnat because he's been so physical. He's a pest. Yeah, a pest. Yeah. Been ultra aggressive. He's been a pit bull. Here we go. Aiden, uh, excuse me, Sturgill. Sturgill. Nice job going left at the rack. Leaves it short. There's Walker Russell in the mix of it again. Jump ball, possession, McGolfin County. Guys, yeah, Sturgill, he's come up short a lot of times tonight with layups. You know, I don't know, Coach. It's like I don't know if his lift ain't there or what, but he's come up a little short on a couple of them. It's particularly uh, late here in the second half. Yeah. They're going to take him out for just a second. Got Maynard yeah. coming in. It, it could be, his, I don't know, his ankle or something, but he, he don't have the lift he normally has. Martin going to apply pressure. They've, they've been successful at that here in the second half. Got to watch that 10-second call. Timeout, McGolfin County. Commercial free the rest of the way, ladies That's and it. Yep. Guys, this timeout is brought to you courtesy of our friend 606 Hemp. Calvin and Billy at 606 Hemp, located in Co-Run. Got one in uh, Paintsville, one in Fort Gay, and a new one opening now in Mate 1, West Virginia. The 606 coming to the 304. 2,300. Wow. Come we, on, 25. We, we told you at the beginning of the broadcast you could do it, and they delivered, Daryl. That's yeah. it, exactly. Mm. Daryl's got the Martin County cheerleaders. That's the Matt Hager fan cam, the, and back to the Matt Hager band cam, the Cardinal band. Trying to get things going here for the Cardinals. 2.41 to go. It's a six-point ball game. McGolfin County coach is 2.41 away from Rupp Arena. Is this reality or is this a dream? For McGolfin County, it's inching closer to reality. Can they hang on? Long way to go. You've seen McGolfin County's cheering and said, and they're saying, come on, Aiden. Coach, Aiden Barnett is the 15th region player of the year for a reason. Yes, sir. Yeah, Barnett says, get me the rock. Yeah. Pressure. Nice job by Martin County applying pressure. Whitaker. Back over, Salyers, yeah, to the corner. They're going to milk as much as they possibly can. Oh, yeah, they're not in a hurry at all. Nice job. Some point, yeah. you got to consider your options. I have to say, you better foul somebody besides Barnett. 82% on the year. They're going to foul Walker Russell. Yeah. Walker Russell said, I want it. Put me at the free throw line. Tell you, the super sophomore going to the line here. Walker Russell with 14 points. You know, and, and guys, we've not seen McGolfin sub one time, have we? We ain't seen Noah Sammons come in the game, have we? Yeah, we've seen one sub. Did he? And we've seen Reed Meadows. Reed Meadows, that's yeah. it. That's the only player for McGoffin, I believe. Jack Key Gibson says, I'm going to have a dang heart attack over this game. <laughs> the super sophomore, Russell Walker, playing the game of his life. Walker right. Russell. Walker Russell, I'm sorry. Yeah. Eight-point lead under two to play. The defending 15th region champions on the rope here. Yeah. A lot of physicality. 
Oh! That's a collision out top there. Luke Hill, Aiden Barnett, not budging, not giving an inch. You know what that move was? That was a move of John DeRossett right there. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's like hitting the hole running right. through the offensive line, Kevin Woods. Yes. You got a collision like that, you better go to Sloan Chiropractic afterwards, get that back straight. There goes Sturgill. He throws There's it away. It. There it is. Yep. Barnett. The kick. Good job kicking it back out. Back out to Barnett. Time ticking. Yeah, you eight, got the foul. Eight-point lead. They'll start fouling now. Yeah. Coach, I mean, they're. It's coming. They should have fouled 30 seconds ago. There it is. Yeah, and, and now you, you let Barnett get the ball before you foul. Now, I mean. Oh, Barnett going to shoot two. Coach, too much time. 2.4. The place is going bananas. It is electric in here. The Gulfin County fans sits in their first regional championship in its school history. One on nine to play. You better believe Martin County's not going to go down without a fight. These senior late, the senior laden Martin County Cardinals. It's going to be a battle this last minute nine seconds. They're not just going to hand the trophy over to them. Twenty five hundred tuning 2, in. Twenty five hundred. John Howard says, "Oh my God, we have done it." Barnett oh, no, to no. Rupp. <laughs> Barnett. Yeah. Barnett to Rupp. Catbird Isaac says. Give him 30 points. Dials on the go. Luke Hill. Jumper. Off the mark. Whitaker. Whitaker gonna go to the line. Martin County players celebrating. Telling their fans to get up. Coach Castle says calm down. We still got 58 seconds to go here. Aiden Barnett, Walker Russell, Whitaker in that backcourt beginning to celebrate. Daryl McCoy, is I, this a dream I, or is this reality? I'm not celebrating if I'm a golfing. Listen, not with Cool Hand Luke on the floor. I, I have no dog in the fight. But I tell you, I got chills right now. Absolutely. Dials from deep. Off Mr. The Logo himself. Yeah. It'll be Sayers going to the line. Sayers going to the line. 11-point lead. McGolfin County. If you're just tuning in, and if you have, where have you been? Tell a friend to tell a friend. You can watch on the D&D Sports Network. But Gulfin County ready to claim their first region championship in its history right here on the DND Sports Network. Don't forget, guys, after the ball game, we will have the Southside Building and Carport post game show where they will name the all tournament team. Got it. Makes it 12. Peyton Davis. Gonna look to drive it, kicks it, dolls, dolls, sinks it, Mr. Logo, and they got the timeout. Yeah, dolls it up, puts it to nine, nine point lead, 38 seconds to play, guys, commercial it, free, the rest away. Yeah, this timeout is brought to you courtesy of Citizens Bank of Kentucky, located all across Eastern Kentucky. Now, Casey Lewis says, as a Betsy Lane fan, I have to give credit where it's due. McGoffin has really played their hearts out in this ball game. <laughs> Marley Taylor says, go Hornets. Elena Salyer says, good to see the team uh, that's not won get the big win. Travis Coe says, thank you, D&D, for the amazing coverage. And Garnett Priest says, I'm on the floor in my living room rolling. Go Hornets. Coach, this, this is something that, you know, if McGoffin County hangs on to win this, it may be the best. It's definitely the best story of the D&D &D era. And, and, and let me add this, Daryl. 
their first region championship, they had to travel the toughest road in the history of the 15th region. They had to win four games. Yeah. They had to beat Prestonsburg. They had to beat Betsy Lane, right? Yeah. And the, who else did they beat? Had to beat Prestonsburg, Betsy Floyd Lane, Cent Floyd Central. No, they had to beat Prestonsburg, Floyd Central, yeah. and Johnson Central. They had to win yeah. four games. Never before done. has it been done. Wow. They had to climb the tallest mountain to get there. Now, here you go, straight up, man to man. Looks like press up top. Get it off to Barnett. Going to get a foul. Barnett going back to the line, going to add to his total. Travis, Travis Cole says, I paced his hospital room all night, cheering on the Hornets. <laughs> Bar Barnett has had to uh, carry the scoring load. This Elite Eight. He has scored 30 or more here at the Expo Center every game. And his first trip ever here. Make it 31. Set. 10 point lead. Back to 11. Peyton Davis. Gets it over, nice handles. Pull up, off the mark, Barnett grabs the rebound, guys, and it's gonna be victory formation, barring a miracle. Wow, watch these fans, McAlphin County. Look From the nosebleeds on down, McAlphin County celebrating. Danny Adams somewhere celebrating. Another one, add, add another point to his total. 33 points for Adam Barnett. Jeremy Pinson from Punk's Tires says best coverage hands down. Substitution's coming. Martin County waving the white, white flag. We're taking out the seniors. Giving them one last mm -hmm. round of applause from the Martin County faithful. And they are, they're standing cheering on their guys. Here we go, Dawes, an eighth grader. Yeah. He's gonna pull Mr. Logo off the mark. Yeah. Now shoot it. He said, gotta shoot it. What was he doing? Why? Maybe gotta shoot, shoot it. it. He nailed it. Sinks it. There it is. Looky here. This place has lost it. This came unglued. Look at this. They're storming the court. Look. <laughs> They're storming the court. Look at Castle. This place has come unglued. Wow. Look at Scott Castle, the smile on his face. And Coach Castle is trying to get him to. I'm going to get the. For the first time in McGolfin County history, McGolfin County claims its first ever 15th region championship and they had to win four games to do it. I don't oh, care. My. I don't care who you are. This right here is one of the most magical stories that we've ever seen, Coach Kevin Keithley. No doubt about Barrel it. Barrel McCoy, can you hear me? Thomas Rainey, we can hear you. Thomas Rainey trying to try to get down, and I believe he's going to try to get some interviews. Yep. Look at this, Coach. I'm telling you, man, I have no rooting interest, but this right here, Look at the cheerleaders. I mean, I'm telling you, man, I got chills, Coach. It, it literally brings a tear to your eye. Unbelievable. McGoffin County overcoming so much. Coach, a tornado wiped their city out, you know, just a few years you know, ago, and they had to rebuild from scratch. And now these boys right here, Aiden Barnett, what a career. What a career for Aiden Barnett. They said, can he ever get there? Can he ever get the big one? Well, guess what? He got the big one, and he's going to Rupp Arena, and McGolfin County's coming with him. How about that? Man. The whole county is here, and they're loving every second of it. Can you hear me down? We can hear you. You got me down? We got you. Oh, my, we're getting ready to get an interview here. Yeah, Thomas Rainey down down there on the 
Down there on the baseline. And we'll let you know, we'll bring it to you. Right now, Thomas Rainey, McGoffin County celebrating. The fans celebrating. Coach, listen, no matter who you was rooting for. No, this, listen, you got to celebrate this community. Yeah. No matter who you're cheering for or who you're rooting for, this is just, uh, you can't not be happy for these boys, man. I asked, I asked the question, is this a dream or reality for McGolfin County? No, this is a reality, and it's happened. Now they're heading to Rupp Arena to face Perry County Central, Daryl McCoy. This team can legitimately make a run to the lead eight, to the final four. There you go. What about it? What about it? What about it? Seven years you've played high school basketball. Waited for this moment. Talk a little bit about how you're feeling right now. Uh, there's no words to describe it right now. I'm just going to enjoy the moment with, you know, the people I've grew up with, dreams of doing this with. It, it's crazy. I ain't going to lie. Uh, All those years, 84, 99. How many people messaged you today about that? <sighs> Countless. You know, look at this crowd. We got, we've had the best turnout every day, every, every session. It don't matter. We got the whole city supporting us, and it just means a lot. Well, needless to say, you're the Tommy Maynard Auto Player of the game. That's needless to say. Go celebrate with your team. Thank you for stopping by, man. That's Back to you, Daryl. That's yeah. Aiden Barnett, Daryl McCoy. And he said, look at this fan base. They have been with us from the get-go. Unbelievable as you see this crowd coaching. And listen, they showed up. This whole community of Salyersville showed up in a big way. And I'm telling you, they don't do it without every one of them fans, every one of them players, the coaching staff, band, cheerleaders. It was a team effort from everybody from Sayersville. Absolutely. Everybody played a part in this one. And here you go. You hear the chant of MVP, I believe. Listen. This is one time you'll take a minute. Right, right up there, Darryl McCoy. You got us. Yep. All those times y'all been so close. You know, you've been around the McGuffin County program a long time. Talk a little bit about how this feeling is right now. Well, it's just an unbelievable feeling, and, and that's what I was tell, telling the uh, uh, last person I'm going to do. It's all about these kids. They come in and work so hard every day in practice, and, and they don't, uh, you know, they don't get the credit that they deserve. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm so proud of how, how hard they fought. They fought for four quarters. We knew if they didn't make a run. We talked about it. You got, you got to persevere and uh, be ready for that run and just, just calm down and handle the basketball. Well, you know, we all know Aiden Barnett. We know what he's going to do. With the, you know, one of our keys to the game was the supporting cast from oh, both yeah. sides. You know, Luke Hale, Aiden Barnett, who steps up. Talk about what Walker Russell did in that fourth quarter. Man. Well, he, he's a rebounding outfit. I mean, he, he goes and chases balls. And we knew coming into the ball game, you know, we've got to, got to run them off of the three-point line. I mean, Ethan Sayer did a tremendous job on Hale. Grayson Whitaker, I mean, did a great job on, on, on Davis. Same Whitaker changing shots at the rim. This this was, wasn't all about Aiden Barton. It was about McGoffin County basketball. And and it takes a team effort, especially when you play a great team like Martin County. Oh, absolutely. We knew it was going to be a war, and we said the same thing. That run's coming. Oh, yeah. You knew at halftime oh, yeah. that run was coming. And Coach Keithley said it's all about how you respond yeah. when you face adversity and your team just stepped up yeah. and took the challenge. Yeah. And that's what we talked about at halftime. They're going to make a run. You know, we got to keep our composure. We got to play, play what, we, what we do every day in practice, and it will pay off. And thank God we're finally in position to pay off. Absolutely. Coach, go celebrate with your team. Thank right, you thank for you guys. Thank you guys for what you do for the kids. All right. Appreciate it. Back to you, Daryl. Daryl McCoy. Great words by Coach Castle. He said it ain't just about Aiden. It's about this McGolfin County yep. team, McGolfin County community. He said he couldn't be happier for this basketball team and his kids. Man, oh, man. And now the trophy presentations are coming at you. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't have goosebumps and <laughs> you're not a basketball fan. Coach, I'll tell you, I, I, I cannot believe what we just seen. I, I'm Darrell, listen, McGolfin County, could they get it done? They got it done. But did you 
to see them get it done and finally get over the hump and actually be here to witness it, pretty dang special. No, this was – it was unbelievable. And you see right there, Mr. Top 2, not 2, Aiden Barnett. Yes, sir. So – Aiden Barnett, and here's the deal, Aiden. Here's the deal, Daryl. McGoffin County will face Perry County Central. Yes. They have a legitimate shot, either team. And yep. we cover the 14th as well to no, get to the Elite Eight. No matter what, we will have An a mountain eight. team go to wow. the weekend, which you don't see. It. And there's How awesome is that? Awesome. Unbelievable. And uh, listen, mountain basketball. As big as ever, you're going to want to go to Rupp Arena. You're going to go to stay tuned into the D&D Sports Network. Perry Central, McGolfin County, going to square off in the opening round. What more could you ask for, sports fans? There you see Larry James and, and handing the runners-up trophy, Coach. And listen, no matter what you say, no matter what you say this here, was a magical season for Martin County too. After what they lost, you know they returned to Rupp Arena, uh, or I mean they they returned to the region championship, knocked out by McGoffin County. It, you know it, I guarantee you if you ask Martin County, you know if there was any team that you know they would want to win it besides them, they would have said McGoffin the 57th district. I I actually heard. Uh, some Martin County higher ups say that they said we want the 57th district. Absolutely. Trey why, James said the same yeah, thing. Why not, Daryl McCoy? Yeah. And, and listen, credit this great run by this Martin County team over the years. Coach James, two regional titles, won the region last year, and uh, made it back to the region finals. This senior-laden Martin County team will re be remembered in that community for a lifetime. It was unbelievable. And right now you see Martin County, yeah, they yeah. are taking pictures and, and being presented the runner-up trophy. Uh, again, what a, what a year for Martin County. Can only be one team. Yep. Here we go. Your 2024 15th region champions go to the McGoffin County Hornets. Coach, what a story. You see the fans celebrating. Yeah. You see the team. It's just like a blur. I've been there and done that. When you cut down those nets, it's a blur. Coach and Scott Castle, what a job he done. Yeah. From the start of the opening round of the region all the way through. Yeah. Uh, he had a game plan defensively. There we go. They're going to do a team picture. Our fans are absolutely nuts, Daryl McCoy. I believe we still got close to a thousand tuning in. That's unbelievable. And listen, why not look at that? Look at, I mean, that right there is just a beautiful picture, man, uh, to see it. Yeah, you know, that's what every kid in Eastern Kentucky grows up to have this one moment. One moment in time. Yeah. And they Martin County, nine seniors on that team. Nobody will ever take this away from McGoffin, but I tell you, hats off to Martin County because they had a special season. Sukat Lester said Brian Charles will be proud of Martin County no matter what. I agree with you, Sukat. You see right now the cheerleader is going to join in on the – picture taken. This will be the picture that hangs on their gym wall yeah. 40 years from now. Yeah, Coach, this is the picture you'll remember right here. When me and Daryl walk in at 80 years old, yeah. that'll be the picture you see, ladies and gentlemen. You'll say I was there. I witnessed McGolfin County cutting down the nets. We're going to do the all-tournament team here in just a second. That's coming up and also uh, MVP. Yeah. see it. You see the Sayersville faithful coach and telling you man. Just a special special moment to be a part of. 
Coach, and it's one, as a broadcaster, we'll never forget this moment. I'll never you know, forget it. When McGoffin won. You know, 14 years. This is the first time in 14 years that Pike for Johnson Central hasn't been in the finals. Right. You know, and then to get a team like McGoffin winning in that year is something truly special. It is. And, again, they had to take the toughest road mm-hmm. in a long, long time. They had to win four games to yeah. get there. Again, guys, y'all was watching the Southside Buildings and Carport post-game show here. Uh, Jamie Castle says, my dad's basketball IQ and love for the game is unreal. He loves those boys so much, so proud of my dad and this team. Jamie, we appreciate you tuning in. It's an honor. Lawrence County, Logan Ratliff is what they said, right, Coach? I believe so. Yeah. Right now they're trying to. They're waiting for Logan to come. Guys, we're going to read some sponsors while they're doing this. State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crumb Funeral Home, City of Co Run, Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott, Hot Rods Pizza. Who'd they say? Carter Parsons from Betsy Lane. Then Hilton Homes of Ival, Matt Hager Law, Clayton Tackett Love Homes, On Point Ballers, Bailey's Carpet and Hardware, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Jeremy Pinson and Punk's Tire. Hall and Jones Funeral Home. Floyd Central. Braden Moore. Now go on down. Hall and Jones Funeral Home, Pike County Judge, Robbie Wright, Sagersville Funeral Home, Brian Parker and the crew, Tommy Maynard Auto Sales. Jaden Stewart from Pike Central. Congratulations to that young man. Uh, Also Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Smoking Hot Vape Shop. Man Toyota, man, what a deal. Howard Family Pharmacy, Corey Conley at Convenient Drug, and uh, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Eli Johnson from Pikeville. Eli had a heck of a tournament. I uh, also want to thank J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carport, Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law, 606 Hemp, Corey Hayes at Hayes Training System, Pike County Jailer, Brian Morris, Austin Sloan. Congratulations to Austin, Johnson Central. Also, uh, Kirk Law Firm, Custom Print and Design, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, Personal Injury Lawyer Ray Jones, and Sloan Chiropractic. From Pikeville, Carter Hurley. Big, big semifinals game. Yeah, huge. And that's your two from Pikeville. So you got Carter Parsons, Braden Moore, Logan Ratliff, Eli Johnson, Braden Shepard from Johnson Central. Uh, who, who else are we? And your uh, Hurley and uh, Carter Hurley, Eli and, Johnson, and Eli Johnson, Braden McKenzie from Martin County. Oh, they've left. From McDonald County. Ethan Salyers. Ethan Salyers from McGolfin County. Coach, man, what a year. Defensively, what a job he did all postseason. From Martin County, Jacob Sturgill. From Martin County, Jacob Sturgill. Martin County players back in the locker room. From McGolfin County, McGoffin County, Walker Russell. Coach, how about the super sophomore? Agent Zero getting it done. Yeah. From Martin County, Luke Hale. From Martin County, cool hand Luke Hale. Luke Hale, what a job he had. What a game he had against Johnson Central. Coach John Fletcher says this has been the best broadcast game ever. Says great game on both teams. Although uh, I'm a card student, this was still the best. Congrats, Hornets. And there was Grayson Whitaker from McGoffin County. Zane Whitaker. Zane Whitaker. Well, we got an idea who the MVP is going to be. And your MVP. Oh, by the way, that was uh, Grayson Whitaker, and your MVP is going to go to Aiden Barnett. Man. Once again, congratulations to Aiden Barnett. 
coach. He's our Tommy Maynard Auto Sales Player of the Game. Is there any doubt? And the 15th region MVP. Wow. And you see him down there. Eli Johnson, Charlie Fitzer, isn't pictured, as well as the Martin the, County guys. Yeah, the kids from Martin County. There is your all tournament team, tournament MVP. They're going to cut the nets down. And they're going to have a police escort all the way back to Sayersville. <laughs> Listen, they'll they'll have the whole town waiting on them back there. Man, oh man, man, what a year! Man, me and Daryl might have to join in with some of the fun tonight over in Sayersville. Yeah, we may have to. Uh, as you're sitting here, there he yeah. Is. Man, what? What a job, Aiden Barnett, MVP, Thomas. The uh, just, I mean, what, what's your words on what you just seen? Storybook. It's that stuff you've always, you know, I'm sure that's a story he's watched yeah. and played out in his mind a hundred times growing up, you know, leading his team to the to the Sweet 16. Now, go down, he's got a good opportunity to play against uh, Prairie Central, you know, maybe a chance to get a win and move on. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the kind of season that he's had, he it, the state needs to see Aiden Barnett. Oh, yeah, you absolutely. 3,000-point scorer, the all-time leading scorer uh, in McGoffin County history. I mean, don't short the state by not seeing that young man. They will love Aiden Barnett and the way this team plays. Oh, absolutely. They play hard. They play aggressive. They're fast-paced. They're, they're just fun to watch. Yeah, they're They fun. put up a lot of points. And it's going to, again, all-mountain matchup. First round at Rupp Arena. You're not going to want to miss it. I guarantee you Daryl McCoy will be there by uh, covering it uh, possession by possession. Well, 62 to 55 was the final over there in the 14th region. Perry Central knocked off Breathitt County. So uh, definitely a huge update coming there. 16th region I think will wrap up tomorrow <laughs> night. So uh, I don't know who won out of the semifinal games, but it will be interesting to see. But as guys – this is year number five. Thomas, you uh, you said the numbers earlier. After all said and done, we'll have over 200,000 people. Oh, there's no doubt. We had 171 on Facebook. Yeah. I think another eight or 9,000 on YouTube, which is growing every day. And there's no doubt this is 20 tonight. Make sure. <laughs> this yeah. is 20. And we were, I'll just say it, I don't care. We were 37,000 Facebook to Facebook to our closest competition. Oh, wow. We outperformed the other two streamers combined. Yeah, impressive performance again by by the A-team over it's here. It's not us. No, it's, it's these people on the other end here. They choose to watch us. We're real. We bring you good. We bring you real coverage. We ain't going to sugarcoat it, Coach. No, we're not going to sugarcoat it, and we bring it to you like you want it brought to you. We're not sleepwalking through anything, and I promise you this, myself, the maestro, and Daryl McCoy, we're as competitive as anyone, so we want to bring you the very best in action. And – what? We brought up new bells and whistles this year, oh, Thomas. Yeah. We just kept more. getting better. I got, I got some more uh, tricks. Uh, and you want to see guys up here, you know, listen, Coach Casey, Thomas, myself, David Jones, uh, you know, uh, everybody that was involved, uh, you know, with D&D, nobody. That's why it's the people at home because they understand we, we're the ones that really care about these athletes and want to help them and give them opportunities. That's why you folks at home and our sponsors are the seeker of the success for these kids. So uh, we want to thank all the crew that uh, was up here helping this week. We want to thank uh, Jaden Scott, Jackson Escher, producer KJ, Joe Kinzer, Got one more Kevin. comment to read. Jamie Castle, my dad's basketball IQ and love for the game is unreal. He loves those boys. So proud of my dad and his team. Go Hornets. Uh, unbelievable. You guys, uh, you know, that's that's what it's about. You know, it's a family connection. Oh, Justin Maynard's putting you on the spot. Prediction, McGolfin, Prairie Central. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with McGolfin. You know, I, I think, you know, right now until somebody slows Aiden Barnett down, I'm going to have to see it. Now, they do have, you know, Carter Castle. He's going to be a low Kaiser Sloan. It's going to be tough. You know, we'll have a show before that, a grind session show, where we'll di dive into that. And uh, But we are excited for all these teams making it from our area. But, guys, 
Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy, Joe Kinzer, producer KJ Jackson Estridge, Jaden Scott. We've had a complete team effort up here this week. I uh, want to appreciate everybody for getting in and helping us to get done what we got done. Well, let's, let's, let's give the other ones a shout out. Eugene Newsom, Ronnie Newsom. Yep. Uh, Bradley Dameron. Bradley Dameron, staff writer, broadcaster, does a little bit of everything. Then you got to jump over. You got Coach May who jumps in and does games. Unbelievable, Coach May. We've yep. even had Bryce Hoskins on the mic two or three times. Then we go over to West Virginia. You got Austin Chafin. You've got Zach Anderson. You've got Coach Barker, Coach James Barker, Barker, James Barker, Faith Lazar. Faith Lazar. That it's a team, man. It, it's a team. It's. You see a certain people a certain night, but and I, and there's I, a lot of work goes in behind the scenes, and I, we have to take the time on the biggest night to thank them. Yeah, yeah, I know. Listen, I feel, we're going to miss somebody saying it, but, guys, we do appreciate our staff, and we want you guys to definitely reach out, tell them thank you too. But you guys again tonight, 2,500 people, I think got up to 2,600. Yeah, new record thanks to you folks. They said Sue Cat Lester says best tournament coverage around by far. So uh, we're going to let these boys enjoy it. We're going to get down and do some interviews, guys. But it's been a long week here that we've spent with you guys at home. You guys have made it feel like family being here each and every night with us as we uh, talked about the sponsors going out. Uh, uh, State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crumb Funeral Home, City of Co Run. Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott, Hot Rods Pizza, Matt Hager Law, Hilton Homes of Ival, Carla Booth and On Point Ballers, Bailey's Carpet and Hardware, Love Homes and Clayton Tackett, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Punks Tires, Hall and Jones Funeral Home, Pike County District Judge Robbie Wright, Salyersville Funeral Home, Tommy Maynard's Auto Sales in Inez, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, our friends at the end of Route 3, Man Toyota, man, what a deal. Howard Family Pharmacy, Corey Conley at Convenient Drug, and Conley Brothers Giovanni's, J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carports, Glenn Martin Hammond Law, 606 Hemp, Corey and Hillary Hayes at Hayes Training, Brian Morris, Pike County Judge, Brian, or Jeller, Brian Morris, Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic, Kirk Law Firm, Custom Print and Design, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, Personal Injury Lawyer Ray Jones, and Zach Sloan at Sloan Chiropractic. So, guys, we're going to sign off here with that one. Any last words, guys? Daryl McCoy, I'm looking forward to the grind session in the state tournament next week. And tomorrow at 10 a.m., state yeah. tournament kickoff show live from Naugatuck. Me and Kevin Keithley will be over there. Make sure you guys tune in, support the Tug Valley Panthers as we send them off to Charleston. But McGoffin County is your 15th region champs. Martin County, 15th region runners-up. Guys, till next time, so long and good night.